Like, if you're fucking dumb enough to say something in front of a fucking writer, you deserve every fucking shit fucking thing that happens to you. Like, I am a writer. I write off my experiences. If you give me a ridiculous experience, you fucking know that's going in something. Hello! How is it going? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I think this is going to work. So let's move this right along here. And we'll get right to it. So what I wanted to do um, is kind of, this is part thank you, part um, just showing you what can happen. But basically, I've had a couple really good weeks of sales with um, my books, my chat books, my zines, um, the blood rag, shit like that. So it, this is kind of like these videos get longer and longer when I have more and more stuff to ship. So, and the only reason why I did this is because one time I was doing a vlog, a poet vlog, and I'm like, I really don't have anything to talk about, like, that is my daily life except me packaging my crap. And so I did it one time, and the people who knew their orders were being packaged when they watched the video got all excited. And they thought, they're like, that was really cool to see you package the stuff that you sent to me. So um, I do it all the time now. I don't know if you guys like it or don't like it or whatever, but, you know, it, it is what it is. And it's it's kind of cool, you know, I guess. But I what I like about this one, and I didn't realize how much stuff had actually been purchased... Um, until I started putting all of these packages together. And um, it took me uh, a couple days. And <laughs> normally it just takes me a couple hours. And um, so this has been just like this year is already off to a great start. And I just want to thank all of you um, for helping me do that. You know, like obviously this is not something I could do without you guys. So um, I'm just really humble and grateful, and um, I love that you guys love my stuff. And I see you guys who buy multiple times, you know. I see the same names coming up, and I remember the addresses as I'm writing them down. And I fucking see you, and I fucking love you guys. So I just really appreciate how the sausage is made. How the sausage is made. So this right here is when, and I talked about this a little bit, but because Off the Grid's a little bit longer... I print it out because I have to put the page numbers of how many things I print out when I'm doing the printing. So when I was done, because it's four pages longer, I forgot to add those four pages. So I printed everything out, but then um, the I realized that the books were missing four pages. So I had to go back and reprint the last four pages of each book and then put those back into each book kind of thing so that was kind of a um a bit of a not an ordeal it's, i mean it's a typical shit um that you go through when you print your shit at home and do all this stuff but so that was just kind of funny um and off the grid um sold really good its first week or first half a week or how i don't know how long it's been oh and then this this was me um stapling everything with my um, junky ass stapler and this is something else that's going to come up I have decided that I need to up my um, equipment all over the place because the stapler I use is a piece of shit and I'm tired of fighting with it um, and like I take myself seriously I take my work seriously you guys take my work seriously so I should have serious fucking equipment and this janky ass fucking stapler ain't gonna cut it. Like if you notice, I'm having to like pull staples out and re-staple it because it just keeps fucking up. And then the other funny thing on here is, is that you're gonna notice that, oh, and then the stapler breaks and a staple got stuck long ways underneath the spring and I have to like wrestle it out with keys and shit. But um, coldest beer in the desert, um, a couple of those went this week. And the funny thing about that is, is that that was June's chat book, June 22's chat book. And I printed everything out, put all the books together, and never stapled any of the copies. 
So um, if you ever got a copy of Coldest Spear in the Desert and it wasn't stapled, let me know. But um, I, every time one goes, I'm like, oh, I need to staple these before another order happens. And I just, I always forget. So, um, yeah. boom. Yeah, so there those are. Those ones are so nice. I love how that one turned out. I love how all of them turn out, but that one, it just feels so good in your hand. I love that fucking paper. Um, but yeah, and so this is just, again, um, oh, and the Blood Rag's been doing great. Um, uh, issue seven's been selling really well. Um, five and six sold really well, too. Um, more so. Well, actually... Oh, I got to get into some numbers because I sold out of two and three and I sold out of one originally too, but then reprinted it. Um, but yeah, so it's just some, I'm just, I, I love that people are digging everything, you know? And I mean, blood rag, the, the cost of it basically pays for shipping it. So it's cool. Oh, there's Bunny's book. <clears throat> and honestly, um, the next Blood Rag is going to be amazing. I got a lot of new folks in there that I'm really excited to share their stuff with you guys. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Yup. And then when I come in here with um, whatever the fuck it is I'm saying, it's scary. So I'm going to try not to jump here. So I don't know. I don't know if you would rather have a bunch of death metal over this or if you like me just um, talking over this. But um, So now it's going to be the next day. And this is uh, me fixing up the envelopes. And with this, I am putting, uh, what do you call it, the printouts from the poetry reading I did at the Garage Poets on January 20th. Uh, my printer died, or it wasn't dying, it was just the ink got fucked up. So I kept printing out stuff and running nozzle test patterns and all this shit. And so I kept using the same piece of paper over and over again, trying to, and like flipping it and turning it and the whole fucking thing. So um, I had a bunch of that. So the poems on these packages are poems that I read there. And in actuality, those poems are new poems that haven't been published yet that are going to be in the winner of your mom's sodomy prize for poetry book that um, I'm going to be doing a crowdfunding campaign for in March. So that should be fun. So these aren't very legible if you get a package that has these poems on it, but um, it's kind of different. Hello everybody and welcome to me driving around and in this um, episode of this I'm going to be talking about a few things some of which is the fact that it's street sweeping day and I'm going to the post office a little earlier than I wanted to <sighs> because this means I'm going to have to, maybe I can go shopping or something. Is there anything I need? Am I needy for anything? I don't know if this street goes all the way through. It doesn't. So I'm going to have to flip some bitches, guys. Flip some bitches. Oh, and there's some dude standing in the middle of the street. Excellent. It's a beautiful day in Los Angeles, California. The sun's shining. The birds are singing. The tricks are tricking. And the hot dog water guy is still open. It's amazing. I've been wanting to try one of his hot dogs for so long, but he freaking scares the shit out of me. Let's try to have some real shit here. I am beginning to get a little, a little overwhelmed 
by things. And what those things are, oh, that guy didn't want to get out of the street. That's ridiculous. Basically, I feel like there's so much that I want to do, like, and build this community, like the poetry community. But I feel like everything I want to do, to do that takes away from the stuff that I do that keeps me sane, if that makes any sense. Oh, someone tried to drive into that building. Oh my God. And I'm just having kind of a hard time. I think it'll be good. I just gotta... I just gotta keep going. Oh man, I took all my quarters and dimes out of the car. So I'm gonna have to dig for some change or find a meter that's already been meterized. Let's see. Are any of these meters green? That is red. That is also red. That is also red. And up here, it looks like all the meters are taken because school's out. Shit, I should have parked back there. Well, it's okay, we'll go around the block. Maybe there's a parking spot right in front of the fucking post office. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, there was a spot right there, god damn it. And a spot right there. Okay, I'll just go around, fuck it. Fuck it. But yeah, some of the things I wanna do this week are, um, I'm gonna do a video on how to prepare for a poetry reading. Um, Bunny asked about that and that's a really good fucking topic. So that'll be cool. I'm gonna be doing some videos on kind of more of like the metaphysical state of writing, if that makes any sense. So hopefully it does, and I, I feel really strong and confident about doing that stuff because, is this guy making a U-turn? What the fuck's he doing? Yep, what a fucking dick. Yeah, you gotta put it in reverse if you're actually coming back. Fucking idiot. Oh, did someone just fucking honk at me? Fucking cocksuckers. Now this means I'm coming behind you, so you gotta pull up to the forward pump, bitch. So now that I am in my little spot of parking, okay, that should do it. Shouldn't be longer than 15 cents worth. I don't know, I just feel like uh, it's kind of like one of those things, and this happens quite frequently and it usually pans out, but if you ever feel like you're on the cusp, like you're on the verge of something really big happening. Or at least bigger than what you're used to. Um, I feel like that's happening. And because of that, it's kind of heavy, you know, like having to deal with all that shit. For those of you keeping up on a trailer gate, um, I still... I'm trying to um, get the money from the fucking dude who basically stole my trailer. So I'm going to have to call them, the attorneys, and tell them to go ahead. And that means I'm going to have to pay for that shit. And that's just like, at the end of the day... Like, the amount of money that I've spent on legal fees, letters, and um, lawsuits, and this whole fucking thing, it's going to end up being more than the fucking trailer cost. So hopefully I could get my legal fees taken care of too with this guy. Just a little stressful for me. Why are you backing up? Oh my god, she's putting on her turn signal. 
Should I pull up? No, I'll just fucking stay here. I don't give a shit. Oh, dude, this chick is a mess. All right, so here we go. Rock and Roll High School. Hello friends, I have made it. I'm really nervous, not nervous, I'm excited is the be best way to put it, about the poetry book coming out, the winter book um, that I'm gonna do the crowdfunding campaign for. <clears throat> and I'm so, in I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I keep thinking about it but there's a lot of, not a lot, but there's a handful of poems that I think I'm gonna take out of it. And then when I do that, I have to decide what poems I'm gonna take out of that when like the actual release happens outside of, um, the crowdfunding thing because the crowdfunding book is going to be bigger than when that book like goes up on Amazon and stuff you know it's like add more give the um, people who contribute more kind of thing I got to figure that out I've sent the book to a couple people to kind of get their opinion of what they feel like I should do and I actually got some fucking solid ass advice. And um, so for those of you who um, sent something like that to me, like your advice was very well taken and I'm gonna do those things. So I'm excited about that. And then in other news about it, I, like always, I fucking piss some people off about some of the stuff I wrote. And the thing that trips me out is that this book, again, is poems from 2021, 2022. And there are people, like, I put the poems in, and in one instance, I actually forgot that the poem was about a certain person because it had been like two years. So I sent it to them for them to read it and they knew right away it was about them. And they're like, what the fuck? And I'm like, well, it might not be. And they're like, motherfucker, like da da da. And I'm like, yeah, okay, shit, that's about you. <sighs> fuck, um, like, sorry. And so now it's just like all that shit. Um, I don't know. And then there was like the family stuff. I've talked about that before in a live stream. Um, but I don't know. It's just, there's gotta come a time 
and there's got to be a line that's like, and I've, I've said this a hundred times, like if you're fucking dumb enough to say something in front of a fucking writer, you deserve every fucking shit fucking thing that happens to you. Like, I am a writer. I write off my experiences. If you give me a ridiculous experience, you fucking know that's going in something. Oh, and then the other day, um, my friend said something really fucking stupid. And it was, like, kind of silly um, when they said it. And it was, like, a big, like, oh, my God. And then they immediately, like, went from laughing to, you better not fucking put that in a book. And I'm like, ugh. And it's not like I need fucking permission. Okay, no, Monday on this side of the street I can't park. So anywhere on this side of the street I can park. So let's see if we can find something. <clears throat> I don't know. I think I'm getting soft at my, my old age. Which isn't at all very old. Oh my god. Is there really a spot right here? Get the fuck out of here. Oh my God, I just got a fucking sick ass spot. Holla. Good thing I just got the fucking brakes fixed. Yeah. Oof. That feels steep. Anyway. Oh, you can't see me now. Sorry about that. Let's just put you up here. Then. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like I am getting a little soft after all this fucking time being a fucking motherfucker, you know? I think what it is is that I have so few friends that I feel like are my close friends. I don't really ask anything out of them other than their friendship you know, but it's like, okay, so you've whittled down your inner, inner circle to this. Do you really want to whittle that down further? And it's like, hmm, that's a very fucking good question. I don't know. At the same time, I feel like if I'm not saying anyone's names, what the fuck does it matter? And I probably just answered my question. Fuck it. I'll do what I want. Jesus Christ. This is how I get into trouble, guys. <sighs> Awesome. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.